Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and to another reaction video. All right, so our latest Tekken 8 trailer has dropped today, and this is the trailer for Lars. Um, so, you know, I've been talking about this, how we've all started to suspect that they were going to try to put out the character gameplay trailers for all of the characters that have currently been revealed uh, for Tekken 8 before EVO Japan, so then at EVO Japan they can make some sort of big surprise announcement with things that we don't know about yet. Um, and it definitely looks like that is the plan at this point, other than Lars, who we have today. They only have Jack and June left, so presumably we'll get one of them this upcoming Friday, and then the other maybe next week. And yeah, that'll lead us right into right into Evo Japan. So pretty exciting. I'm curious to see what they're gonna do with him. Um, he looked in the glimpses we've seen of him so far. He looks pretty flashy. So <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. Um, I'm running a little behind today. I usually try to get these out as soon as they come out, but I wasn't able to. You know, I wasn't able to sit down and film a reaction right away today so so we're a little late so I don't want to take too much more time and I just want to jump into the reaction so let's check out the Lars gameplay trailer here we go get ready for the next battle Oh, I think I typo. <laughs> okay, his face looks pretty great. Target Kakuni, sent to Kaisru. Oh, okay, flashy, flashy. And we see Jack, so I guess Jack's gonna be next. That's, was that just from his move or from the wall? Oh my goodness! Like, look at all the, the, the flashing lightning moves! And, oh my god! I assume that these, like, lightning crazy moves are in his youth state? These combos look crazy! <laughs> What? <laughs> what am I looking at here? Okay, alright. So, I said, right, I said, even before this started, that th what we'd seen of him briefly, previously, he looked pretty kind of flashy. But by that, I I mostly just meant his design, you know, his his outfit, his appearance. <laughs> but apparently, that was the right term to use because his gameplay certainly looks that way too. Um, like the effects that he has. All right, there are numerous effects that they showed, starting from the point in the trailer where he he gives this little speech and he says, "There's there's no way you can stop me." Um, pretty much everything they showed with him had some sort of intensive, like, lightning or fire flame flashing effect attached to it. So I'm assuming that those moves are probably the ones in his heat state. Um, and that that is what's indicating that. Though, of course, like I said, I've said previous trailers, I don't know for sure about that. But <laughs> it looks crazy! And then going into his radar, I mean... I don't know, just the way that this all is styled from his his costume to his actual rage art and the way that a lot of his moves look. <laughs> it's almost like an anime game. Like, he almost looks like a, a character that you would see in an anime <laughs> game and not in just like a, a typical tech <laughs> game. So yeah, flashy, I guess, was the right term for it. But I mean, he looks really cool looks really cool 
The other thing that's interesting to think about, because I had been talking about this through a couple of the last previous trailers, in that I felt as though some of the hit animations looked as though they had been graphically toned down since the earlier character trailers that were released, where a lot of people have been talking about how they the, the flashing looked like it was a little too much over the top. Um, so it was kind of difficult to actually see what they were doing um, if you were the person playing against them, but also if you're somebody who has, say, some sort of neurological condition or any sort of condition where extremely flashy, bright graphics can, can trigger or be too much, that some people were worried about that. And then in the most recent trailers we had seen, it looked like they were toned down. Well, in this one, it looks like they're way back up for at least part of it. And so now I'm kind of curious if it's just dependent on if it's regular, regular gameplay or in the heat state. And I think that would make sense if it's mostly like if characters are in the heat state, the animations um, look flashier and obviously, and then maybe the, the, uh, the graphics um, actually on hit um that's when you see the crazy like lightning effects and things like that so so maybe those other characters in the previous trailers weren't really tuned down as much i don't know i mean i don't know i'll have to go back and look at it but i also do think that i saw something uh that harada had said at one point that there were going to be options so maybe it's just you have an ability as the player to tune the images, the visuals up or down, depending on what you're comfortable with. And maybe they're just kind of playing around with that in the trailers, depending on what they think is most appropriate for the various characters. And obviously for a Lars, they're feeling like as flashy and bright as possible is what they want to go for. He looks great, though. Like the facial animations look fantastic. Seriously, this outfit. <laughs> This outfit is insane. It's like an anime outfit. And I guess this means, just based on looking at this and what they've done previously, that probably we will be getting Jack next, uh, because we've had instances in the past, like with Jin Kazuya, uh, Paul and Law, where we'll see one character, and then whoever is their opponent will end up seeing them soon as well. And this one, I mean, we also see him against Kazuya, which is uh, appropriate, um, but we see a good amount of Jack in here. And still no signs of June, so June must be the one that, like, we've been speculating that they'd be saving for last out of the currently revealed characters. And who knows, maybe they'll even wait and not show us June until Evil Japan, and we'll just get Jack, but I hope they do. I hope we see her soon. But yeah, I think he looks really crazy, and... In a good way, it's exciting. The gameplay looks exciting. Um, they did have a little bit of a misspelling, <laughs> misspelling in the the section with the um, lion of the rebellion, but I'm sure they'll fix that. It's <laughs> ah, like they they were much they were too focused on the other elements. That was just that kind of that kind of got fell by the wayside, I guess. That, things happen mistakes happen but yeah i think he looks fantastic and i'm excited to see what they're gonna show off next but i'd like to hear your thoughts as well um what do you think about lars and are you excited for jack and june and whatever they have to show off video of japan gonna wrap this up here so i can get it posted but thank you guys so much for joining me hopefully i will see you next time bye